If you're a person who thinks your energy is being drained, you actually put yourself around those people so they can give you an excuse of why you don't want to open your heart, why you don't want to expand yourself in unconditional love and acceptance, and why you don't want to amplify love in this world. So you let them, you basically say, okay, I'm going to let down all my energetic boundaries. I want you to walk all over my beautiful landscape um, of me and just do everything you can to muck it up as much as you can. So that way I can blame you. And then I can say, this is the reason why I don't trust people. This is the reason why I don't open my heart. This is the reason why I don't allow people into my life because look what they did to me. When in truth, you did this to yourself because you allowed those openings to be there to begin with. So the energy of an energy vampire is that the vampires, regardless where they are in the world, you're the one cutting your wrist and feeding them. You're the one opening the door and saying, hey, come inside. And if you can't get in, I left a key under the mat and make sure you really mess me up so I can have every reason to be a victim and to be angry and to say why life is sucks and why this thing happens and why that thing happens. Let me tell you something from a shamanic point of view, okay? In shamanism, we understand that any energy leakage or energy that feels draining, like when, when people say to me, my mother-in-law drains me or this person drains me, that's you draining you. You are the captain of this amazing vessel and you get to decide when you dump fuel or when you gain fuel. No one has access to your fuel tanks. No one has access to your energetic dynamic system that allows energy to move through your meridians, through your chakras, in and through your synapses, firing off those electrodes, going into your, your telomeres and going into your mitochondria and opening up your sympathetic nervous system, your parasympathetic nervous system, your endocrine system. All of these systems all govern one captain, and that's you. You are the captain of this vessel. This biological spacesuit is your responsibility to maintain your own boundaries, your own awareness of your energy. And if someone is coming into your space and they spew dark clouds and you're affected by it, that's because you are engaging with them energetically. You could walk in that room and open up and start thinking about things you love and push and beam into that room uh, a powerful light that, that just completely blots out their clouds. 